Good morning and welcome to this press conference of the NATO Secretary General and the Deputy Prime Minister of Montenegro. Secretary General. Good morning and uh, dobar dan, Igor. And uh, dobro dosla, sernagorna. Uh, and uh, welcome to all of you. Uh, this uh, morning we made a historic uh, decision. Uh, the 28 uh, uh, allies in NATO decided to invite Montenegro to begin accession talks uh, to join the alliance. And this is uh, an uh, historic uh, achievement. Uh, Montenegro has uh, conducted uh, significant uh, reforms. It has shown commitment to our common values and to international uh, security. I congratulate uh, the government and the people of Montenegro for all that they have achieved. Uh, and uh, NATO membership will uh, make uh, both Montenegro and uh, NATO uh, more secure. With uh, NATO's help, Montenegro has modernized and uh, reformed. NATO membership uh, integrates Montenegro within the Euro-Atlantic uh, community and it uh, strengthens security across uh, the Western uh, Balkans. We look forward to continue to work closely with uh, the government of Montenegro uh, throughout uh, the accession process. NATO's open door policy has been one of the Alliance's great uh, successes, moving us ever closer to our vision of a Europe whole, free and at peace. NATO enlargement has fostered reform, strengthened collective uh, security, and provided the stability which is the foundation of uh, prosperity. And we encourage them to continue along the path of reform. Today's decision shows that, we ha that hard work of reform pays off. Minister, uh, once again, congratulations. NATO membership is good for Montenegro. It is good for Europe and it's good for the whole alliance. So once again, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning to you and indeed good morning for Montenegro. It is really a great pleasure, a great honor to be here today at the historic moment uh, for my country together with Minister Panovic Juricic. We uh, uh, took part in the NAC meeting and this is indeed a historical milestone for Montenegro. After Restoring independence nine years ago, after opening accession talks with the EU three and a half years ago, today uh, has come a day that Montenegro receives uh, a membership invitation, and this is uh, definitely a long-awaited uh, decision, but also a recognition of very hard work over the past nine years since we restored our independence, but also since we started with Patch for Peace at the summit in Riga. This is also I believe an important day for the Alliance, as Secretary General already said. Uh, we owe our gratitude uh, to all the NATO member states, uh, to you, Mr. Secretary General, to your staff, for tremendous support you have given us throughout the whole, whole process. But also I'd like to be very clear today. Uh, the invitation doesn't mean the end of the process. Uh, it means the beginning of the next stage, and reforms will and have to continue. We are aware of all the obligations we have in the accession period. We stand ready to successfully uh, uh, complete them. At the same time, we'll continue our national reforms, especially in the area of the rule of law, uh, uh, and also we'll continue our efforts in fighting corruption, organizing